and you don't like Shurufatayali because probably he's one of those who is uh, keeping this government or who is keeping President Akainde Ichilema on his toes. You can say whatever you want, but the fact is that if there is somebody that is giving President Akainde Ichilema, you know, who is keeping him on his toes, it's Chirufatayali. And uh, uh, I know some who say, no, 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 he doesn't even bother about you. No, he does. And President Akainde Ichilema watches these, uh, these videos. He watches. Otherwise, if President Akainde Ichilema doesn't watch, yeah? No, Hakainde Ishlema doesn't watch. He doesn't bother about you. If he doesn't watch, if he doesn't bother about me, how come he has sued me? How many times has Hakainde Ishlema sued me? Eh? How many Hakainde Ishlema has sued? How many times has he sued me? If he doesn't listen, if he doesn't follow, he has gone in court to swear an affidavit. You can only swear an affidavit if you have seen if you have seen uh, whatever you are you are suing a person for, who goes to court to sue another person to say he told me such and such, if you yourself has not seen it, how? You can only go and sue a person if yourself you have actually seen that person or heard that person talking. Today, President Haka Inde Ichirema, after what we said yesterday, after what we said yesterday and what others said today, he has corrected himself. So you people who think that we are just useless, we are just useless, we, we are not making sense. President Haka Inde Ichirema listens. He heard what we said. We told him that the guidelines are not, were not made by, by, the, by the councils. Neither were they made by the MPs. It is not the MPs and the councils who are controlling the guidelines which were given out by the minister. It is the minister through cabinet and the Haka Inda Ichirema himself who came up with those, those guidelines. And those guidelines are what, uh, that, those are the ones which are being followed. So it didn't make sense for him to say I'm directing. It didn't make sense for him to say I'm directing the councils and the MPs. And thank you, at least he had. Today, he has said he has directed, he has corrected himself. He has directed the Minister of Local Government. And that is the correct position. That is a correct position. That is what is supposed to be done. That one, we agree. The other point is the issue of, um, you know, uh, teachers. That education minister said, no, um, the technical committee is working on it. But he couldn't, he couldn't commit when, when the list will be out. And I want to tell you, all of you who applied, you know, uh, in the teaching service, I want to tell you that a government only works when you pressurize them. A government, especially a government, takataka government like the government of President Daka in the Ichinima, it will only work when you press, when you when you push them. If you are going to sit back to say no, the list will come out. The list will never come out. This year will end and you will not be employed. I am asking you, you applicants, start forming, you know, uh, WhatsApp groups in, in different districts, in different districts, in different provinces, and find a way of pressing on this government to ensure that that list come out. If you are going to sit back and start waiting to say no, uh, Tayali will talk about it. Oh, uh, no, whatever. No, it will not happen. It will not happen. My lone voice cannot move government. It requires your participation. Can you come in and organize yourself? Organize yourself, organize yourselves so that we push government to release that list. 
that education minister, from the way he was talking, they took six months to do a baseline. Six months to do a baseline. I can assure you, even on this list, they will take another six months. The list will not come out. You need to push them so that the list can come out and they can employ you targeting that in January. Our target should be that by January, you should start working and you should start getting paid. If you don't push now, this year will end, January will come, you will not be employed. But if we start pushing them now, if you push them now, at least between now and December, they can do everything, they can even post you, they can even put you on the payroll. Come January, at least you can be employed. So this is the point. Let's push them so that everything, whatever has to be done, can be done between now and December. Come January, all of you, the 30,000 teachers should be in schools. All of you should be in schools. But if you don't push this will not go anywhere. If you are going to concentrate on shouting Bari, 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 and taking selfies, I can assure you this year will end, you will not be employed. You will get into next year, you will not be employed. So, we need to put pressure on this government that a list is released as soon as possible and everything that has to be done in terms of getting offer letters, getting posted, going to the debs and whatever, whatever, should be done this year. Come January, you should be in schools, you should be getting paid. This is my appeal. This is my appeal. Start organizing yourselves in provinces. Start recruiting teachers' uh, WhatsApp groups and start talking in the, in the, in the provinces. Eh? In, the, in, the, in the provinces and the districts. Start at from the district levels, then go to the provincial levels such that at one point, if we see that this list is, is taking long, we can organize for a national-wide protest. This is where I'm going, and I'm telling you this. I'm not hiding. I'm not committing a crime. I'm not committing a crime. What I'm talking about here is what is supposed to happen in a democratic state. If you organize yourselves, and if we see that this government is delaying, we can organize a national-wide protest to ensure that to ensure that they deliver on what they promised. We are not asking for something from nowhere. We are asking something that they themselves promised us. We are asking what President Aga Indeichilema himself promised us. You are entitled to that. You are entitled to it. So you have a right to demand for for it. So start demanding for it now. Start demanding for it now.